Hey guys, uh, another episode of Airbus Stand in Detail. Today I'm going to show you um, the problems we're going to have with air conditioning pipes and the additional power supply as well. So quite often when we run all our nice Intel or Air Titans layer, doesn't matter what brand it is at the moment, uh, you're going to end up with a nice massive hole. The problem is you can't use any grommets because the grommets are round and this is far off of round. So I just uh, put my head around and I thought we could use um, grommets, but different grommets. So for this case, I'm going to use the Carflex Multi Grommet, and the Carflex Multi Grommet comes with a nail pinch. So you are able just to adjust the right positions and punch your nail. So the way how I do it, step number one, you have to cut the insulation all around, because if you don't remove the insulation, you're going to end up with ventilation or with um, convection here between the pipes. So it will be really, really bad, especially when you have when you run more than one air con unit per building, then you will talk about a serious leakage. So first number step, I prepared it already. Remove the insulation, just cut the insulation off flash, um, flush with the membrane. It's really important that you keep the rest in place because the insulating part is an important one. Step number two. Use this nice template. So in this case, I just use the template, keep it in position, and because you would like to have the grommet without any tension. So you just mark your template the same down here, which is not that important. So you just mark the third one. So you have three holes, three penetrations. Then, I don't need to show you how to punch the holes. You just put the template on top, of the grommet, punch your holes, one, two, three, and be really important, uh, careful, don't do it here on the floor. Yeah, if you have a look around, they already marks you on the floor. <laughs> um, Daniel, yeah, don't talk about it. <laughs> so, so then you prepare it. On the end, this is how your grommet looks like. Um, so the good thing is it's really, really flexible. Very important, if you cut the holes, this is the only way how you do it. Don't cut holes or something else. You have to punch the hole. Otherwise, you will break the grommet. And now, just run the grommet over the cable first, or whatever is the best for you. So, a bit tricky, because it's really, really tight. Then, first pipe, and the second pipe, and you see it's really perfectly sealed. Just get it over. It's a bit shaky because my frame is a bit shaky in here. So just fix it step by step. That's it nice on the insulation. Now it's really important as well. Tape your grommet properly. Use the tape. And it's really important tape the tape without any tension on the tape. If you stress the tape, it's really difficult for the adhesion to adhere over a long, over a long time. And always use a press fix. I'll drop my one. Here it is. And really activate the glue of the tape. It's really, really important. So how you can see now, you see the insulation. It sticks here on the insulation on the inside, which is good. Because now... You just put on the last piece of insulation again, really put it on top, tape it or jam it a little bit, but this is definitely the best way because now we have an absolutely airtight connection in here for the cable and here. If you have a wastewater um, ducting as well for condensation, just use uh, the Roflex 20, it's definitely big enough. Same, remove the insulation, cover it or fix it with a grommet and seal it with a grommet, put it back on. But this is all for me for today and have a nice one.